Give me two more of these. One more, take it down, and on this next one, we're gonna hold it up at the top, and then from here, we're gonna side bend to the right. Now use your left hand to pull yourself back to the center. Side bend, use your right arm to pull back to the center. And by kind of pulling on your club, it allows you to engage your obliques, those muscles right around the side of your ribs. Making it maybe a little bit bigger as you go. In any of these moves, there should be no pain whatsoever. One more on each side. And then bring it to a stop. We're going to take the arms straight out in front and then just reach straight up as far back as you can and straight back down. And again, breathing in a tiny bend in your knees here. Give me two more. One more. And then we're going to stop with the pole, the club here, bend the elbows, and then just like a field goal, bring it back behind you and straight back to where it started. So you're kind of taking it over the head. Give me one more. And then bring it to a stop. Okay, dropping the club out in front. We're going to take the right foot to the front and take a step backwards with your left foot. Make sure that you're not on a balance beam here. You've got some width. Roll up to your back toes and bring most of the weight into the front leg. Slightly bend your right knee. Taking the club over to the right, rotate and come back to the center. Now I want you to kind of focus on something out in front of you so that your head doesn't go to the right with your arms and your torso. Keep it fixed. Breathing. Make sure the whole shoulders are turning, torso's turning, lower body still. Give me one more. And then switch feet. Roll up to the back toes. And again, we're going to the left this time. The whole upper body turns, but the head stays centered. Breathing. Give me three, two, and one. All right, we're going to go handle down here, gripping the floor. And then we're going to take one leg and just swing it from side to side. A little balance working here. Just starting to warm up through the hip. Really making sure that the leg stays long through the knee. And then bring it to a stop. Switch the club to the other side and then the other leg goes. Hips are very important in the golf swing. And bring it to a stop. Here okay, we're bringing it back over to the other side this time. A leg swing, but we're going to cross the center and bring it out wide. And just let some momentum take over. Still breathing. Two and one, switch it up, club over to the other side, cross the center. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're going back and forth here. Taking your right toes down, standing most of your weight on your left leg. We're going to just like the gate, open the gate, close the gate. So all the weight in that standing leg. And you want to make sure that this standing leg, the hip is not moving. It's not rotating with you. You're just opening and closing here at the hip. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Open and close. Make sure that this hip is nice and still. You can kind of take a glance down, see if it's doing a little dance. You want it to hold as completely still as you can keep it. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna take it back over to the other side. Take your right heel down, and then kind of bending into your left knee, we're gonna fold forward through the chest, and then come back up to top. So your toes are up, you're digging your heel into the floor, pressing back with the hips, and then coming up tall. You should definitely feel this down the back of your leg. Still breathing. On this next one, let's hold it down, keep the toes pulling up, and now we're gonna rotate the entire leg, not just the ankle, not just the foot. The whole leg is rotating from the socket of the hip here. And bring it to a stop, bring the club up to the other side, and again, heel down, toes up, tip over, stand up tall. Toes are actively pulling up, pressing the hips back here. Make sure your spine stays nice and long. We're not getting into that rounded posture here. 
Alright, on the next one we hold it down, hold it here, and then the whole leg rotates. Again, making sure that it's not just the foot, the whole leg. And bring it to a stop. Okay, we're going to take the club, again with the handle down, out in front of you. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this, this uh, angle. Take the club, lay out in front. Bend the knees, we're reaching the arms out wide. We're gonna round your back, tuck your hips underneath of you, tuck your chin down so that you have a big C posture. And then from here, drop your belly button, the hips press back, and the head comes up. Again, as if you had a tail, tuck your tail between your legs, bring your chin down, and then your tail points straight up to the ceiling and your head comes up. A whole spine warm up here. Still breathing. Give me one more tuck under, chin comes down, tail tucks under, belly button to the floor, tail up, head up. And then bring it to a stop. We're going to take that club, slide it a little bit closer. Okay, I'm going to turn to this angle. With your left hand on top, we're going to reach it across, over to the right, and then come up top. So make sure it has a good grip on the floor, you don't want it to slip out here. Looking over the shoulder, push back with the hips. You want to make sure your head stays in line. Right here, right between the center of your body, between the legs. On this next one, hold it out there, press out through the shoulder, look over the shoulder, the elbow straightens out, and get that big spiral and that stretch down the back of the arm through the shoulder blade and through the upper back. Bring it up and switch the other arm across the body and in. Breathing. And on this next one, holding it out there, look over the shoulder, press out through the elbow. Everything's nice and centered here, spine is long. And then bring it in. All right, holding on to that club for balance. Feet are wide, we're gonna come up to the toes and drop straight back down. Just warming up through the ankles, through the Achilles, through the calves. All right, and we're gonna change this. The toes come up up to your heels. So you should feel the front of the shin, that muscle that comes right alongside the shin bone, picking up your toes. Careful not to rock. All right, and then we're going to roll to the outsides of your feet, outsides of your shoes, trying to lift the insides up. Some of these might be easier than others. And then the last one, we're going to try to come out to the insides of your shoes while we lift the outside of your shoes off the floor. And bring it to a stop. Okay, I'm going to put the club down here and we'll finish up with just body movement here. Feet apart, arms down by your side. We're taking the chin straight down and then we're going to make a slow roll over to the right shoulder. Look up over to the left shoulder, chin to chest. One more time, all the way around. And then when you get to the center, stop and take it back the other way. Still breathing, it might be very noisy, that's very normal. And when you get back to the center, bring it to a stop. Slightly bend the knees, cross your arms here at the chest. And we're gonna make a slow roll with the upper body. Crunch forward, and then make a slow like slide bend over to the right. A tiny back bend behind you. A roll over to the left and back to that crunch. So as if someone's holding onto your hips, just the upper body is rotating around the lower. Still breathing. When you get back to the center, turn it around the other way. To the left, side bend, tiny back bend, side bend, crunch. One more here. And then we're going to let the lower body join in here. Bring the arms and hands down to the waist. Separate the feet just a little bit more. Circle around through the hips, just like a hula hoop. You want to make this circle as big as you can. Try to keep the knees straight. Really press the hips out in front like you're scraping around the edges of a bowl. Switch directions. One more. And then stop. Step the feet together. Both arms reach up to make a really big circle. Open wide and down. One more. And switch directions.
one more, and I'm going to take the arms on a big diagonal, open and close. I like to say use a little bit of momentum here, a little more chest and shoulder. Four, three, two, one. Relax there. Take the feet out really wide. We have just a couple more here. We're going to rock to the right and rock to the left. So we're trying to get that inner thigh bending into one knee, straightening out through the other. One more on each side, and then straightening out through both legs. Reach the arms straight down. Everybody's range is different here. We just want you in a forward fold. The knees are straight as you can keep them, pushing back with your hips. Let the upper body just kind of relax into position like you're getting heavy here in the center. Feet are grounded. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, fall forward just a little bit more. Then from here, walk both arms over to the right leg. You don't have to reach the floor, you don't have to reach your foot. You can kind of bring your hands to your shins, wherever is most accessible for you. A deep breath in. Exhale. And then walking it through the center over to the left. And a deep breath in. Exhale, come closer to that leg. Walk it through the center. Now bringing your hands to the tops of your thighs. I'm going to walk my feet just a little bit closer together. Fingers on the outsides of the legs. Straighten out your elbows here. We're going to turn and look over the right shoulder. Push away from your left leg. A little lengthening down your spine on that left side. And switch. Turn and look over the right. Push away. I'm going to do one more on each side. Turn and look. Turn and look, push away. Come back to the center and we're rounding it all the way up to the top. Set the feet together. All right, 